Hello, my name is Nicholas King, and today we'll be discussing the article review of ground stroke exercise combined with jogging can increase the physical fitness of tennis players. This study should show that ground exercise combined with jogging can increase the physical fitness of tennis players. Tennis can be a very intense sport combining aerobic and anaerobic exercise. However, aerobic energy is used the most when playing tennis. Tennis is an intense sport from the constant running after the ball to the types of ways to hit it such as ground stroke, forehand, backhand, volley, lob, and smash. Tennis requires different aspects such as good technique and being physically in shape. Tennis players need more than just skills. So when training they want to aim at good endurance and good cardiorespiratory capacity. According to the author, um, the best exercise for tennis players is to have an increase in large muscle activity because this increase and generates the maximal oxygen consumption. When choosing a good exercise, jogging was an ideal choice. Jogging is a great exercise to tra train endurance in the heart and lungs. It's also a simple exercise and can be done without a facility or equipment. However, jogging doesn't hit all muscle groups for tennis players. So for the experiment, game training exercises will be included in the research to reach the pinnacle of a tennis player's physical fitness. When it came to the population, it was chosen 13 kids at random at a tennis facility. In testing the subjects, they were measured, measured by their VO2 max test combined with a multi-stage test. If you are not familiar with the VO2 max, it refers to the maximum amount of oxygen that an individual can utilize during intense or maximal exercise. This test is considered the best in determining your cardiovascular fitness. The VO2 test was broken down into five sections. The top section was very good, which was anyone who scored a 45.01 or greater. Good was considered a 38.34 to a 45, a moderate level was considered a 31.67 to a 38.33. A bad level was considered a 25.01 to a 31.66. The worst level you could be at was a 25 or less. So before they started their training, they took the VO2 max test. Six of the 13 were at moderate levels, while the other seven were at a bad level. Their average was a 30.9. So for the training, they met three times a week with at least 25 minutes of exercise at a 75 to 85 percent maximal heart rate. After training was complete, four of the kids were at a good level seven reached a moderate level, and only two were at a bad level. No one was in the terrible section of the scoring. Their average went up from a 30.9 to a 35.7. So overall, this test shows that jogging is a very good exercise when training tennis players and training for endurance and to increase your cardio cardiovascular um, fitness levels.